Welcome back, internet people. My name is Ryan. We're playing Skyrim. And we are being very, very detected. Ah, uh, you can see me. Hi! Hello? Um, I need this goat back, if you don't mind. Okay. Oh, no. I don't want to murder you. Ow! Oh, well. That's lovely. Oh, this is a problem. You gave me no choice! Goat? Where is the goat? Oh, goat. Come on, goat. <laughs> you are a lovely conversationalist, Mr. Goat. Come on, let's go. You're my favorite follower. Oh, don't look, don't look, don't look so sad. It's 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 okay. I I'm just saying that to make the go feel good. I'm not just saying that to make the go feel good. Hey hey hey. I have your goat. Name's Ennis. If you've got friends who do business in White Run, they might know me. Okay. Oh oh no. Where is the goat? Where is the goat? Where's the goat? I brought back your goat. You talked to Raldith yet? She's like a mother to me. That's okay. Here's your goat. Get, can you help me now? Gladder. I'm not a scratch on her. Happy day. I still can't figure out why you stole her. You left a note explaining it, but half of it was gibberish, and the rest had mead spilled on it. Only bit I could make out was repaying Isolde in White Run. And even that's mostly scribbles. Guess you could try there. All right then. Isolda. I know Isolda. Okay. So if you haven't been following, which is totally okay. Uh, long story short, I went out drinking at some point. Turns out that's not a great idea. Because when that happens, I anger everyone. And it is, it's not good. It's its just, it's not good at all. Like, I don't mean to be boastful, even though I happen to be the greatest person of all time. Um, but I'm usually pretty helpful. Except for when somebody asks me to help them by murdering someone. And when people ask me to, you know, ignore floating trees. Um, I'm usually a pretty helpful guy. I go to a place, I fix people's problems. It's what I do. They give me gold and treasures and other various things, you know, stuff that comes up. I'm not going the right way right now. I should be going. I'm just, I don't know where I'm going right now. Oh no, it's just because I usually go the other way around this little mountain here. Um, but this is hugely concerning. Like apparently you get what, three drinks in me? And I go, like, I become the exact opposite. Really? I go around and basically just screw everything up in the most dramatic fashion possible. This really, like... This is screwing with my brain. This is, this is... My therapist is already having a tough enough time trying to figure out the ripping wings off of butterfly thing. And now, uh, this, I, uh, they say that when you've had a few drinks, your real true nature sort of shows. And if that's true, uh, then my true nature is someone that goes and makes messes and steals goats. And also there's a staff and 
all sorts of basically just constant dubious decisions. Oh, I'm wondering what I did to, to Isolde. I'm quite the fan of Isolde. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed. So, and you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. The finest cuts um. Yeah, I've been kind of getting that a lot lately. Oh, what's wrong? Did the engagement fall through? Look, how about we call it even? As long as you bring back the wedding ring. That's really a shame. I was so looking forward to the wedding. You said you'd have all the most interesting guests. Um... You wouldn't happen to know what I did with that wedding ring, do you? You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left her? My and after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why she left you. My fiancé? Can, can you tell me any more? Or how could you forget? It was the sweetest story I'd ever heard. You met at the full moon, under the biggest tree in Witchmist Grove, surrounded by fireflies. It was straight out of a storybook. Farewell. I guess I'm going to Witchmist Grove to get her What's wedding ring back. You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman. Oh my god, shut your mouth. Stay out of trouble, Elf. You stay out of you trouble, the cloud human. Well, I'm on the road again. Oh, lost Aranya again. Oh well, she'll turn up. She's kind of got this homing beacon that I implanted into her brain. It's probably why she broke down a little bit in Ragnvald. But that homing beacon makes sure that she always comes home. She's my... She's my favorite horse. Gotta make sure a beautiful horse like that one always makes it home. Always makes... I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, hey, on the way I could get that moon amulet for that Khajiit. He seemed like quite a nice fellow. I would love to help him. Right after I rip all the wings off all the fucking butterflies. <laughs> now that, my friends, is what my therapist called an out burst. She seems okay with the outburst that I eschew upon the deer and elk of the land. Mostly because everyone kind of has to kill the deer and elk. And even though I kill probably about eight or nine times more than I need to eat to survive, it's still okay. Like, it's not, it's not bad. Is there someone in here now? Well, there was someone up there. But no longer. Because I gotta... Oh, my. What is that? Ow. Because I got a sniper that always comes home. Out of the way! Out of the way! can tell it's going to be a pleasant place when there's dead people on spikes outside. Isn't that right? Hello, people who place those dead people on spikes. Hi. How are you? Oh, not bad. I'm Got this weird rash. It's, it's, it's the strangest thing. No matter what I put on it, it just won't go away. This is quite the cave you guys have occupied. Yeah, it's quite a sight. It really is. Aloha. Some 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 is what it was. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't kill people. It's bad for your psyche. I would know. Looks like the boss is at it again. Trouble is in the air here. Why? What's he doing now? He's on one of his trips.
drunk rants again. Except this time he's challenging everyone to a duel over in the hole. We've got him locked in there now, but he's still challenging anyone that looks crooked at him. Someone should let that cat loose. Glad it shut him up real quick. Hey, don't say that too loud. You don't want it getting back to him. I enjoyed your conversation. I was eavesdropping, but there are no eavesdrops in this building. Or eaves. I guess you don't really need the trough portion of it. Just, just the eave portion of it. Hello. Hi. You have something that a Khajiit left. I think it's in this box. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, Christ almighty. Well, time to get out of this place. Hopefully forever. It is quite the cave, but I mean like... It's full of these bandits. And they're being all bandity. So we're on the road again, rather late into the eve. Oh. How lovely. Oh, it's the naked people camp again. You know, I feel really bad that last time I did not fully embrace your way of life. Now I'm naked too. You gotta cover your uh, unmentionables. Really? There we go, I'm enjoying myself. Lucky hit. How you guys doing? Hello. We are on the hunt. It is no longer we. Mm -hmm. It is only you. Goodbye. Oh, why do you hate me? Don't do that. People that hate me. Get burn. Oh, the night is lovely. Lovely. Except for all of these incredibly obnoxious clouds that are keeping me from seeing the virtual cornucopia of colors that exist just above my head. Um, con consum, um, um, I, well, I, I'm flattered and you are a wonderful specimen, but I, I, would you mind if I could maybe just have the ring back? I, what? You want it for that hussy Esmeralda with the dark feathers, don't you? I won't let her have you. Uh oh, oh no. Oh, you are definitely painful to me. Hmm. Well then. I just, I don't think it would have worked, Moira. Gotta be perfectly honest with you. You are demon spawn, and I'm just too pretty for you, baby. Just too pretty.